Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms coming to you here live from Colorado Springs, Colorado. For the last time on this trip, I am moving today. So you'll find out my new location tonight. Um, it's not too far away. It's just like 30, 40 minutes down the road. So but we'll be able to tell you all about that tonight. So today we're looking at winning Wednesdays. And I'm on a little later because I got a little lost on time this morning and just got off a workshop um, and about to go de-glamorize and um, get sparkles packed up so we can hit the road. Um, but it's going to be, it's a little windy out there today. It might get buffeted a little bit. But we'll see. We're not going that far. Um, so winning Wednesday. So we've got, you'll notice that mindset and business both say accountability. Um, accountability is absolutely an amazing thing to have. If you want to have success in business, if you want to have success with your mindset, you need to have an accountability partner. Somebody that you can talk to once or that you account to you um, be count honorable once a week or it could be often if you need it you can text them or email them during the week with your progress or questions that um, not so much questions because they're just there to hold you accountable um, they're not there as your coach although it may be a coach that is that you're being accountable to but they're there to um, keep you on track you tell them this is my this is what I want to get done this week it might be this is what I want to achieve in my mindset. I want to do X number of meditations this week. I want to go for X number of walks this week. I want to listen to this. I want to um, read this book this week and get this many chapters done in the book. Um, it could be something like Think and Grow Rich, um, The Super Attractor, Magic of Thinking Big, The Richest Man in Babylon, whatever type of book you want to listen to. You say, I want to listen to this book this week. Or it could be um, even listening to The Stranger's Secret for 30 days in a row. Um, so being accountable to them and with mindset for accountability um, it's a commitment it is definitely a commitment um, but it's when you're when you're accountable to somebody for a commitment it makes it more real and it means that your success can can be greater than if you didn't have accountability partners because it has been shown that if you have an accountability partner you're more likely to succeed than if you don't have an accountability partner when it comes to business you turn around and say these are my business goals for this week or for this month every week you come in and you say this is my business goal for the month and then each week you come in and you give the update on what you're doing in the process to get to that goal at the end of the month um, or it could be this is my goals for the week which could then tip into that big goal for the month so it could be that you've got weekly goals to help you achieve your monthly goal um, and being again you're being count honorable to them um, to get that stuff done so they can actually say okay you got the goal you'll get it done great that's awesome and on your fun activity today your fun activity is about a cultural night so think of a culture that you would like to to explore food wise and make your dinner around that culture um, you know there's tons of information out there YouTube websites that have got different recipes in there for different cultural experiences and foods and that sort of thing maybe you want to have a Chinese night so go find some authentic Chinese recipes and cook them up and um, eat family style around the table maybe um, um, make some sushi you know figure out how to make sushi or something and have a Japanese night um, make some Indian food and have an in and you know and even if you want to go as far as dressing in traditional costumes for them or um, making the experience finding out you know do they sit at a table do they sit on the floor do they have picnic style um, do they sit on cushions and making it part of the experience so it's not just cooking the food and all sitting around the table and eating it it's like when they cook this food does it is it plated pre-plated or is it family style um, and looking at that too and you know in some cultures like in Japan they have the lower tables that you kneel at so maybe you want to try that okay in some places if you can't kneel you might have to sit on a cushion on the floor um, but you know just to give you part of that experience so go check out some of if you go check out the culture look at how what foods are typical for their culture make up those foods um, explore you know maybe put some music on from that from that country as well some of their um, more traditional music um, maybe put some pictures up around the room that will get you into that thing you know, redecorate the room so that it's in that cult in that cultural theme so make a really themed cultural night tonight I have no idea what I'm doing tonight <laughs> actually yes I do I've got I got training sessions to be on tonight so I know that much um, but you know go have fun explore a new culture and food but just don't stop it at the food 
make it the mood as well with traditional music from that from that country that culture that you're exploring to how do they actually you know do they do family style eating do they sit at a table do they sit on the floor do we have a picnic and look at those as well you know when you're passing plates around who gets to who gets served first does somebody serve or is it everybody for yourself so look up some of those traditions and stuff and try and get as as close to the culture as you can but just have fun with it it's all about exploring new cultures and things and appreciating um, other cultures and um, some of their traditions as well um, and maybe even come up with some fun facts about the country that you're that you're exploring um, maybe even go as far as you know if we could go visit this country these are the places I want to go to these are some of the historic sites I want to visit you know start talking about that now because when travel opens up again um, you're going to be ready with some really cool and creative ideas for when you go traveling where you actually get to go and experience firsthand those cultures not just trying to um, imitate it in your theme night at home so um, go have fun with that and um, as part of Winning Wednesday, we want to celebrate your wins, so please put your wins in the comments below so we can celebrate with you. Have a super fantastic sparkling week, and we will catch you. Sparkling week. Jeepers, I sound like I'm signing off for a week. I'm only signing off for a morning. Um, have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your day, and I will catch you later this evening. Hekonera!